This video is going to show how to establish the Google Gmail, what's called an app password. And this is useful in instances like having a Canon image class multifunction machine that you want to use the scan to email function. Well, with the two-step verification for passwords for Gmail, the image class by itself will not work in its default form. And also, also it's gonna require having Gmail set up a little differently. So what I do here is I go to the Google address and in the top right, with your little app selector, go ahead and left click. From here, I go to account and I left click account. Now this is not a business class Gmail account. If you have business class, there is a different video you need to follow. This is for the rest of us where we don't have business class Google or Gmail. Here we go to the security option and left click. And then from here you go to your two-step verification. There's a small greater than character left click it. You'll need to enter your Gmail password. I've entered it. Now we're going to click on the next button. Now here, I have a screen that I need to make another selection. So I scroll down to the very bottom where it says app passwords. And here I left click the little greater than bracket again. And then it shows me the different apps I have out there currently. And I want to set up a new one. And so I'm going to set one up. I'm going to set up Canon Multifunction 642 CDW which is the name of one of the machines I'm working on. And then I click on the tray button. When I do, I am given a special app password to use for that specific machine. Now, I don't need to identify the machine by serial number. What I need to do I would take a photograph of this with your uh, phone camera. You're gonna need that. And then we save. And so now we have the Canon MF642 CDW. Let's open the address field, key in the IP address of your Canon image class machine. This is something you should have already set up using the machine's network configuration. I don't show how to do that in this uh, video simply because that's so easy to do and this part is a little bit more complex. So I'm gonna type in our particular IP address. Yours will be different.
Whoops. I have one little mistake at the very beginning. The first digit should be a two, not a three. Now, once I do that, I am presented with a very archaic looking screen as compared to what I see with other applications. I click on the system manager mode option, and then I type in the system manager ID that I set up previously in the uh, image class machine, and then I type in the password, and I click log in. Now at this point, you have several options on the right. The one I want to pick is one for settings and registration. When I pick that, there are two areas I want to go into. The first one is going to be to find the network settings. And in network settings, we have a port number settings value. Now, I've already set this machine up to work with Google. Gmail. But what you need to do is take a look at your SMTP port. Yours probably by default says either 20 or 25. We need to change that. So we go to the top right corner of the screen and click edit. And then under the SMTP value, you change whatever it is, 20 or 25, to 587. Once you've done that, at the top right, you go ahead and click the OK button, and you're back now to the port settings option, and we want to go to TX settings. Left click TX settings, and then on TX settings, we have an email and IFAX settings link. Click there. Now, here, as with the other uh, uh, system, I already have everything set up. So I'm not going to be making any real changes here. What you want to do is go up to the top right corner where it says edit and hit the edit button. And the first thing you want to edit is the SMTP server and the email address. And the SMTP server is smtp.gmail.com. And then your email is whatever your Gmail email account name is. Mine is emperorgilhale at gmail.com. So you get those entered. And the next thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you have use SMP to authentication checked on. Use TLS for SMP TP checked on. And then you want to go ahead and set or change your password. Now, here, use your name. And then down here is where you key in the Gmail app password and click the OK button in the top right corner. And once all the changes and edits have been performed and saved, it's recommended you turn off the machine and restart it. What I want to do is test to make sure my scanned email is working. So I go to our keypad, hit the home button, 
Then I tell it I want to scan. And I want to scan to email. And I want to scan to an email in my address directory book. And then I say I want to scan to. I want to scan to myself. Come on. Oh, <laughs> the check mark indicates that's the first one. I understand another to my other email address, another check mark. Then I'm going to hit the apply button. Now here, I've got color. So I'm going to tell it to do a color scan. It says it's sending to two destinations. And once it's done, I can go ahead and close. If I want to, I can go and hit the little home button or it'll eventually go home by itself. So now I've got to check and make sure that my email has been received. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this video, turn it off, go into my email, do a screenshot to prove that this document came through.